Hello, Dysart parents and guardians. Last week we announced that our start date for all students will remain Tuesday, August 4th. And today I share that we will offer three class format options for you to choose from. Full-time in the classroom, full-time online, or a split-time hybrid option. I want to take a few minutes to share with you a little bit more about how and why these decisions were made, as well as the various options and what they will look like. I want you to know that the decision to start remotely for all students on August 4th was not made lightly. We know that remote learning that took place in the spring was extremely challenging for students and parents and even our teachers. However, what took place last year was essentially emergency schooling. We did not have time to fully plan or train for such monumental shift in operations within an extremely short period of time. This year, as we approach the start of school, we do not know exactly when in-person classes will be safe or allowable by the governor. The initial date of August 17th is a moving target. At this point, we don't know if that date will hold or be moved again, but we do know that we have 24,000 students we are charged with educating this year and keeping safe. In light of our commitment to the community, we felt it was imperative to begin school on time and start the important work of engaging students in learning. With little certainty on the horizon in our world right now, students and parents can be certain that education will begin in the Dysart community on Tuesday, August 4th. I know that there's a lot of concern about the remote learning format, and I want to assure you that our staff have been painstakingly working over the summer to ensure that we have enhanced remote learning plan in place. This year's remote learning plan for the start of school will be more structured, take place virtually during the regular school day, and operate with our online iSchool curriculum that has been in place and highly successful since 2012. We understand that not everyone is comfortable with remote learning for any length of time, but we are confident that it will be a much better experience for everyone and provide much needed structure and learning for our students until we are able to transition to the parent-selected class format options. Dysart remote learning during this initial transition period will take place online during the regular school hours using Schoology and teachers will teach from their classrooms. A consistent learning platform will also be used in each school model this year so that at any point during the school year, we can seamlessly transition back to remote learning should school closures become necessary again. Now I'd like to talk a little bit more about the various class format options we are offering for the 2020-2021 school year. In an effort to better serve our community, we recently surveyed our parents to find out what options appealed most to our family. Thank you so much to the parents that provided input. We had nearly half of you weigh in and about 75% of parents indicated that they would prefer in-person class options, and 22% preferred full-time online. We also asked about interest in a hybrid model, and 40% showed interest, and another 28% were unsure. What this told us was that we needed to seriously consider offering all three options in order to best meet the varying needs of our entire community. While it is certainly a challenge to offer so many options, especially from a staffing perspective, we knew that in the best interest of our students and community, we needed to figure out how to make it happen. I'm so proud to know that Dysart is one of a few districts offering families three options this year. The first option is a full-time classroom experience where classes will take place in person on campus. We will incorporate health, safety, and social distancing protocols where feasible. One thing to note about this option is that face coverings will be required when social distancing is not possible. However, we will not require face coverings during lunch, recess, or other activities outside. The second option is full-time online through our Dysart iSchool program. In this program, students take online classes through our fully accredited Dysart iSchool learning platform. We have had this system in place at the high school level since 2012, and it has been highly effective. We're excited to expand it to kindergarten through eighth grade students as well this year. Our last option is our split time hybrid, which will be for our K-8 students only. This option combines in-person and remote education. 
where students will be taking classes in person two days a week and do remote learning two days a week. On Mondays, teachers can provide students with additional assistance. One of the big questions we are hearing about is devices for remote learning so that students can, who choose full-time online or hybrid options will have technology in their homes. Please know that schools will have laptops available for distribution, much like we did last year. If your student needs a device, we will provide one. I hope that I have given you a better understanding of our decision-making process, as well as a little bit more information about remote learning changes and the various class options available this year. We have provided some additional resources, including more detailed information about each option and how to make your selection at www.dicer.org forward slash back to school. And we'll be releasing a Q&A document for parents and informational videos on Wednesday, July 8th. We ask you to indicate your preference for each student by July 15th so that we can plan appropriately for our staffing needs within the various models. Thank you for listening, and please know that here in Dysert, we value each and every student, parent, guardian, and staff member. We love serving you and collaborating with you. I know these are extremely challenging times, but please know that you are appreciated and that we will always have your best interests at heart of each and every decision. We're looking forward to making this year extraordinary. Have a great day.